Lode, why did you budge in like that? Sheku si. Um, um, Kabi si. Ema binu. Chief Adekunle ti pakboda. Ututsa oma. Ha, ima na uporo name ka uzotam iPhone. Ha, gini ka mnuru. Obiara no lona banana. <laughs> Osi, inkabu ifonu. <laughs> Ni hina oneme ifonu na ufagi. <laughs> Sanu, ya ya ki. The clips you just watched were created with free AI tools. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to create videos like this step by step. Very easy. Make sure you don't skip any part. I mean, watch this video to the end so you get every bit of it. And the best part is videos like this can be used to monetize a YouTube channel, grow your social media pages, or even offer paid translations or video services in native languages such as Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, Swahili, Spanish, French, name it. Now the first step is to create your character or scene. You can use ChatGPT for your image generation. As you can see, this is the prompt I gave ChatGPT and then um, this was the response I got. But now that we have our images ready, the next step is for us to generate the voiceovers and to do so, we we'll head over to Google AI Studio and then you choose this one. All right. So you click on this one, the generate native speech with Gemini. And then you just click on this part, this part we have here. And then you click on single speaker audio. I'll be using the single speaker audio model for this particular tutorial. We have the multi speaker audio where you can create voiceovers for more than one speakers at the same time. So but for the purpose of this particular uh, video, I will do single speaker audio. And where we have the model settings, I'll just leave it as it is. Then under the voice, I'll just choose that one and come over to this part. And I'm going to paste my script right here. So the script I'm working with right now is the Yoruba saying, Kilode, why did you badge in like that? Shekosi. So what we will just do is here, Read aloud under the style instructions. We have read aloud in a warm and friendly tone by default. I'll just change it to read aloud in a surprised tone, right? I'll just leave it at that. And then I'll just scroll down and click on run. When I play the audio here, Kilo Day, why did you badge in like that? Shake or see. This is what I got. This sounds so, so realistic. Like, I don't think I have come across an AI tool that can do this. I'm still trying to test other AI tools to see if they can give something exactly like this, but AI Studio did the wonder, you know? So this is for Yoruba. This is for Yoruba. And all you just need to do is click onto this part and you'll be able to download and save on your device. Now let's try this in AUSA. Sanu, Yayaiki. Now I want to try this out. This is an Igbo script. I'll just change the tone right here. Read aloud in a, in a funny tone. It's actually a funny script. All right. So, and then I'll come over to this part and change the voice. Let me try leader. And then I click on run. Ututu oma. Imana mpora nam ka ozu tam iPhone. Obiara nula na banana. Osi. Nkabu iPhone. Nifi na ona eme o phone na afogi. <laughs> oh my god, if you're an Igbo in the house, please let me know if the script was well read. Now let's try this in Spanish. Hola, ¿cómo va el trabajo? Hola, ¿cómo va el trabajo? Alright, so the next thing we'll be doing is to animate our images. And then for this, we'll be using this AI tool called Grok. To get Grok, just head over to your App Store or Play Store and search for Grok. And this is what you're going to see. You can see um, I've already installed it on my device. That's why you're seeing open. So I just click on open. You need to sign up to have access. I'll just continue with my Google account to be able to access this. So on this part, I'm going to click on create videos. And then from here, I'll click on continue under animate your photo. And I'll go ahead and click on the image I want to animate. Let's go with this one. I'm using an iPhone, so it may look different if you're using an Android phone, but it's still simple. It's very easy to access. Can you see that it has animated our image? Though it added its own audio, we actually do not need it. So we'll just go ahead and download. I'll just go ahead and download this. Since we already have our voiceover and we also have the image animated, we're going to be heading over to the next step, which is to sync the voiceovers with the animation. And to do so, we're going to be doing that with this particular app, dreamfaceapp.com. And then we'll just, um, just go to Google and search for Dreamface, or you can find the link in the description box or the pinned comments of this video. 
So this is what you're going to see. Now you're going to click on these three dashes here. Click on avatar video and click on video lip sync, right? So click on generate avatar video and then you're going to click on the plus sign and then click on photo library so you can add the image or the video we want to lip sync. Remember we generated this video the other time and then you click on done. So you need to wait a few seconds for that to be done. As you can see, it has uploaded our video. Now you're going to click on this part that says want avatar to say. So just click on it and then you, we have the text option and the audio. Here you can paste your text. But for me, I have the voiceover I want my animated video to um, sync with. So I click on audio and then I click on upload audio or video. You also have the option to record your voice if you want to use your voice. But you know how we are doing here is AI generated. Everything is AI generated from the images, the voice, the video, everything AI generated. So let's click on okay, upload audio or video and then I'll click on choose file to pick the audio so i'll wait for a few seconds for that to be uploaded you can confirm by playing this here kilo day why did you budget like that shake will see so after doing that you just click on confirm and then you click on generate once you click on generate it doesn't even take much time just come over to this part so you can view your generation click on creations and then you will see your creations. Let's play it. So let's see what it gives us. Kilo de, why did you budget like that? Shake will see. Honestly, I found this so incredible. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Now you can see the video is watermarked. We have Dream Face animated with AI showing boldly on it. So what you just do is you head over to CapCut. Just go to CapCut and click on Create Projects. Now import the video you want to animate before you take it to dream face to lip sync just had the animated image click on hard so right here just scroll to the side and look for aspect ratio click on it and then change it to one by one like instagram um size or four by three i usually use four by three for mine all right or the ones i've done before i use four by three so just click on this and then once you have selected that Tap on this part of the timeline and then reduce your image, your video or your, yes, reduce it a bit, move it up, reduce it a bit or make sure it, um, you know, you have this kind of space under your image so that the watermark can stay on that part, right? After you have done your lip syncing. I don't know if you're getting me. And once you're done with that, just go ahead and export your video. So once you're done with that, just head over to Dreamface, go ahead and upload the new one as you can see can you see that um space under it so repeat the process like i explained earlier so once you're done you get something like this you can see the dream face watermark is under the video so what you just do is to head over to cap Cut, create a new project add kilo day the video you know the animated video and then you can see the dream face caption is there i mean the dream face watermark just go ahead and crop it off just come to this part click on crop and then you crop it off come back to the aspect ratio and put it on 16 by 9 and just make sure it's fitting so you can go ahead and enhance the picture enhance your video you know the quality may have reduced go to brighten brighten it a bit go to contrast you contrast it a bit give it like four to six then sharpen it a bit give it like 20 to 25 so your video will be brighter you know and that's it you can go ahead and export your video i hope you've learned something if you want to try any of this can you try it and let me know your results in the comment section if you have any questions you can as well drop them in the comment section don't forget to like share this video and subscribe to this channel for content like this i'll see you in my next video